Young from the Kamloops Hospice joining us now. Thanks for being here, Pamela. Thanks for having me. We're talking about the uh, advanced care planning workshop that is coming up, your next workshop right. that's coming up in October. But before we get to the details of the workshop itself, maybe you can explain a little bit about what advanced care planning really is. So advanced care planning is when a capable adult would talk about their beliefs, values and wishes around health care decisions with their family, close friends and their health care provider in advance of a health care crisis where they may not be able to speak or make decisions for themselves. Okay, so it would be the family for the most part that would step up in, in this kind of a circumstance mm -hmm. when somebody couldn't speak for themselves? Mm -hmm. Yes, so you want to be able to um, talk with your family mm -hmm. or a close friend if that's who you would have speak for you. Um, so that they really know what your beliefs and wishes would be if you couldn't speak for yourself. And it definitely makes it easier for the family as well or the individual who'd be making those decisions because they're really, it's a guide for them right. around what would be most important to you. So the workshop itself, <clears throat> I mean, you know, you can talk about advanced care planning, but, yeah. but holding a workshop, and here are the details of the mm -hmm. workshop, October 4th at Kamloops Alliance Church from 1 to 3.30, so that will be the next advanced care planning workshop. Yes. Um, but having these, the, the hands-on, sort of t talking with all the experts, mm -hmm. uh, why is that so important? Well, I think it's such a, it's an area where we don't talk you know, whether it's our family culture or our, whatever that is. And it's not a common thing that we talk about because it's uncomfortable for most it's of difficult. us to talk about what happens if. Mm -hmm. And it's really important because um, we, can't, we don't ever want to assume that we would know or that our family would know what's important to us. Right. It takes a lot of the assumption out of it. It will give um, the person who's, who's um, making the advanced care plan reassures that that um, their voice will be heard and it'll give a it's like a giving a gift to your family mm -hmm. because then they have almost like a road map mm -hmm. um, a guide to what was important what's important to you what health care choices you would choose to have or not have um, in that case and, and takes the pressure off that absolutely. family or friend uh, who yeah. like you say might just assume but then yeah. maybe think oh is that what that person did yeah. want you know yeah there's a much better uh, chance that after that decision's made or whatever the outcome is, that there'll be less burden, less right. regret. Um, did I make the right decision, um, regardless of the outcome? And so there's never a, a, a wrong, or there's always, it's always a right time to have these conversations. Having them way in advance of an illness, and I think people assume that it's just only when you have an illness. Right. Um, but we have to think about those, those um, healthcare crisis and a car accident, um, whether you're younger or older, um, these conversations are important. And it really does give you that peace of mind. Mm -hmm. And um, it really leads to some beautiful kind of conversations that you may not have if you, if you didn't approach this yeah yeah difficult maybe slightly uncomfortable mm -hmm. to have these conversations but absolutely important definitely thanks Pamela yeah. so again that workshop uh, being held on October 4th uh, at the Campbell's Alliance Church from 1 to 3 30 information at the bottom of the screen there if you want to know anything else about advanced care planning or get a hold of hospice yeah. we'll be right back stay with us